Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter number 13 of Mr. Alexander and Sadiku's book on circuit analysis. And it is about linear transformer. Here we'll primarily discuss T and pi equivalent network and we'll solve uh, two problems, example 13.5 and practice problem 13.5. So first of all, uh, why we need T and pi? Uh, this is the transformer circuit, this is T circuit, and this is pi or delta circuit. It is sometimes convenient to replace a magnetically coupled circuit, that is this type of a circuit, by an equivalent circuit with no magnetic coupling. So that is, it makes a solution easier. You want to replace the linear transformer and figure this? by an equivalent T circuit or pi circuit. So first of all, we have to uh, derive some formula. So this is the original network converting into phasor form. We multiply by J omega and we have also incorporated the mutual voltages. We have discussed this in earlier lecture. I hope you can follow this. and also we mark the polarity depending on the current direction. Now we are ready to write the KVL equation. For the left loop, we write KVL equation start from one corner, negative V1 plus J omega L1 I1 and plus J omega M I2. Rearrange in terms of I1 and I2. Similarly, right hand side, we start from one corner, J omega M I1, J omega L2 I2, and V2. So rearranging this. Now from these two, equation one and equation two, we can write the matrix equation. So the input V1, V2, and these are the parameters that we copy here. So this is the matrix equation. Okay, now we'll carry this and we'll uh, now derive the formula for T. This was for the transformer. We got a matrix equation for the normal transformer. Now we'll take the T circuit. We'll also write it in phasor form. So multiply with J omega, everything. Multiplying with J omega and also marking the current direction by assuming two currents or the currents I1 and I2, which are flowing here. And here also we'll write the KVL equation. So starting from here, we write the KVL equation. And I hope you know that here two currents are flowing, I1 and I2, and they're in the same direction. So we'll use a positive sign. Rearranging this in terms of I1 and I2. Similarly, the second loop, same technique. From here we are going and writing the uh, KVL equation. Rearranging, we get this one. And here also we'll write the matrix equation. So from this 1A and 2A, we can write this matrix equation. And now we are in a position to compare the two. This was for the T network and this is for the transformer network. So comparing the two, we'll find the parameters LA, LB, LC. So simple, you just compare these two, you can write L1 is equal to LA plus LC. Similarly, LC is equal to M. And third one is L2 is equal to LBLC. And from here, with little manipulation, we can find LA. I hope you can follow from here. So this is LA. LC is M directly from here and LB from this one is L2 minus M. So these are the three values of the pi network. And so our equation, our circuit will now become like this. LA is L1 minus M, LB is L2 minus M, and LC is M. One point to remember, if the dots are so that the current entering both the dots 
then this circuit is valid. But if the position of the dot is so that current is entering in one and leaving in the other, then M will be replaced by negative M. So our circuit equations will now be like this. Okay, now let's discuss example 13.5, solve in the book. This is the circuit. These parameters are given L1, L2, and M. And we have to find the T equivalent circuit. So L1, L2, and M, we write from here. Putting in the formulas that we derived for LA, LB, LC. So our new circuit or the equivalent T circuit will be like this. We write the value of LA, LB, and LC. Okay, now the second part, derivation for the pi network. This we had already derived for the transformer. Now this is our pi network. Here also we'll write it in phasor form. And now, since these are uh, the there are two nodes here, so it is better that we use the nodal method to solve this. The so node one and node two. By nodal method, node one current entering here. We have assumed these two directions. So current leaving, current leaving. And I hope by now you have learned how to write the equations. Ia divided by this current is V1 divided by J omega La. And this current is V1 minus V2 divided by J omega Lc. Opening and the rearranging in terms of V1 and V2, we get this equation. Similarly, node two, this is node two. Current entering, current entering, current leaving, so this. And simplifying and collecting the like terms for V1 and V2. So this becomes our second equation. Okay, so we were here, we had these two equations for the pi network, and now we can write the matrix equation from here. So this will be our matrix equation. But there is a problem. Equation 1343 is in terms of I. So this is in terms of I. That means V1 and V2 calculated in terms of I1, I2. Whereas equation 13.47, which was for the pi network, is in terms of V. That here we, are, we can calculate I1 and I2 in terms of V. And so for comparison, we have to modify, we have to invert one of these. So we'll see how we can invert and which one. Now this looks slightly complicated, so it is easier to invert this. So we'll invert 13.43. Let's see how to do. So this was the original circuit. We want I1 to be first, like here, and V2 to be uh, dependent or independent rather. So to write this, you know, from here, if you want to keep this, we have to bring it down here. It will become uh, one divided or it will become power minus a. So this is the inverted uh, determinant. And there is a formula for solving this type of inversion. That is swap the position of A and D. So A and D is swapped. Put negative sign in front of B and C. So B and C put negative sign and divide everything by AD minus BC. So we'll apply this technique here to get the value of this inverted matrix. Okay, so exactly same technique following. Then multiplying, simplifying. Also, you can see J omega numerator and denominator both, but here there are two J omega, so one will get canceled. So this will become our inverted matrix equation. And so the after inversion, uh, this will look like this. Now this is the transformer equation inverted. We had already calculated the uh, matrix equation for pi. So this was the matrix equation. 
Now we are ready to compare. So first of all, this looks easier. So we'll compare this top right. So we write it here and from here we write this term. And simplifying, we can find LC to be this value here. You can pause the video and just go step by step. Okay, now for the second term, we are again comparing these two equations, the transformer equation and the pi equation. We are now equating top left. Top left is this one. So this compared with this top left. Simplifying, further simplifying, we get 1 over L as shown here. And so LA will be as shown in the equation 4. So this was the second term. Now we need to find the third term. And for that, we'll go bottom right. Bottom right, we have LB. So we'll use this. So compare this with the bottom right. And simplifying, we get LB value. So that means these are the three values that we have derived. Slightly difficult to memorize. But if you see, they are all common on the top. and uh, this is just opposite for LA it is instead of L1 it is L2 and for LB it is uh, L1 and here it is simple M. So anyway, now this was the original transformer. Its equivalent circuit will be like here and we know their values now. So let's solve an example now. Practice problem 13.5. You have to find the pi equivalent. This is the answer given. So we try to get this answer. Formula, this is the formula. All we need to do is know what is L1, what is L2, and what is M. And plug in the values in this. So LA plugging in the values will be 18 Henry. LB again plugging in the value will be 4.5 Henry and LC will be 18 Henry. So we got the same answer that book has given. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Uh, please let me know through your comments. Thank you.